This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can crop fine objects like hair using GIMP. So I'll go ahead and get started here with this image, with this example image. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, I'll put a link to this image in the description of the video. And in order for this method to work, you're going to have to use an image that has a lighter background than the subject. It doesn't have to be white, but the background should be lighter than the subject you're trying to crop out. Otherwise, this uh, method really won't work. You'll have to try a more manual approach. So in order to do this, the first thing I'm going to do is create a duplicate of this layer. Click on the layer right there. Just click the button that says create a duplicate of the layer. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the one on the bottom. And then I'll create one more duplicate of that. And what I want to do now is I want to create some, I want to create some more separation between the, the, uh, the subject and the background. And I'm going to do that by stripping everything down to black and white. So I'm going to go to colors uh, and desaturate. But first what I want to do is I want to bring out the colors in the subject a little more just so we can get a little extra separation when we go to do that. So I'm going to go to colors, hue, saturation, and I'm going to bring the saturation all the way up. Go ahead and click OK. And then what I want to do is I just want to make sure that the background is indeed white. You probably can't see it on your screen, but on the bottom of this image, this is not all the way white. It's white up top and then it's kind of like a light gray at the bottom here, sort of like a gradient. So I want to make sure the background is entirely white. So I'm going to go to Colors, Levels, and if you click this, this little dropper icon right here, you hover over it, it says Pick White Point. Click on that and then whatever you click on on the image is going to make white. So I'm going to come over here to where it's the darkest gray down here and click that and that's going to make sure that that all turns white, that that becomes the white point of the image. It's kind of like a white balance. I'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that. And then I'll go to colors. I just want to go to saturate one more time. I want to bring that up a little more. See if that helps. Yeah, that, that helps a little bit. Go ahead and click OK. And now what we can do is go to colors and desaturate. And it's going to make everything black and white, or grayscale rather. Go ahead and click OK to apply that. And then what I want to do is go to Colors and Levels. And if you take this, this midpoint right here and bring it over to the right, you'll notice that the subject starts to turn black, which is the, uh, the, the, that's the effect we're going for. We want the entire subject to fill in black, sort of like a silhouette. I'll bring that over a little more. We don't want it to go too much to the point where it's completely black and white. We want to remain, we want to keep some of the grayscale element in there so that when we crop it out, it's a nice smooth transition going around the, um, the strands of hair here. And it's not so like harsh and abrupt if you were to do like a threshold. So I'm going to go with something like that right there. It looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then what I want to do is go to Edit, uh, Copy Visible. And I want to turn off the visibility of that layer and click on this middle layer right here. Then I'll right click on that and go to Add Layer Mask. And I'm going to choose White Full Opacity. Go ahead and click Add. And then I'll go to Edit, Paste. And then I'll go to Colors, Invert. And then I want to take this, uh, it's now a floating selection. I just want to click on this little anchor icon down here, Anchor the Floating Layer. And if you zoom in on this, I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in. If you zoom in, you can see we've cropped out a lot of it, but we still have some more to fix. Uh, like if you notice here, there's some like there's some like a uh, white glow going around the outside of the hair. And there's some transparency going on the whiter areas of like inside the hand, like on the wrist right here and on the nose and a little bit on the eyes. But we'll, we'll fix that later. That's very easy to fix. What I want to focus on right now is the white glow around the hair. And in order to fix that, I'll go to colors and curves. And down here, this bottom left node, if I take that and bring that to the right, it's going to add more black to the image, which is going to help reduce some of that glow. But let me just cancel that for now. One thing I would advise doing before you do that, just so you can get a better view of what you're looking at, I'm going to create a new layer where it says right here, create a new layer, click on that, choose transparency, click OK. And for the foreground color, I'm going to change this to green. I want to put this, go ahead and click OK, and then go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color. And we can take this green layer and put it beneath that layer. Because I want to put this on a green background just so I can see better like what is shining through. Like if you notice here, there's a lot of green showing through. That's going to be really helpful to see that uh, as when we go to fill that in. And you could always toggle the visibility off and on. So I'm going to toggle it off. 
And then I'm going to click back on this layer. When you click on this layer, make sure you click on this black and white box so you have that selected. You don't want this selected. We want the black and white box selected. And then we'll go to Colors, Curves, and then I'll try this again. I'll move this over to the right. That right there I think looks pretty good. If you want, you could play around with it a little bit and add some more white to the image. Every Every image is different, really. I think this looks good as it is, so I'm going to leave that as it is. So with this particular image, this, this setting works pretty well. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now let me turn on the visibility of that green layer. And if you notice, we have a lot of green showing through. So there's a lot of transparency showing through where there shouldn't be. And by the way, to move the page, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. So what I want to do to get rid of this is I want to grab the brush over here, a paintbrush. I want to flip the foreground and background colors around so we have white as the foreground. And I'm going to choose a soft brush over here. Adjust the size to however you'd like right here. I'm going to go with the size like 32. And just go ahead and start coloring that in with white. And it's going to fill it in with the original image. And if you just go around, you can just fill in these green areas. If you notice here, some is showing through on the wrist. And it's, it's really hard to see this if it's just on the checkerboard background, which is why I put that green background in there. It really helps to help you visualize to see where it's shining through. And again, I'll go up here to the hair. I'll fill that in a little more. I'm not going to get too close to the edges because we don't want to fill it back in so that like the white background is showing through. So I'm just going to I'm going to fill it in going pretty close, but not not too close. Like there, right there, you can see some white showing through. That's went a little too far with that one. And to undo that, I just hit Control Z. So go ahead and fill this in. And if you're not sure how far you should go with filling it in, what you could do is you could turn off the visibility of the green layer and turn on the visibility of the original layer. You could just toggle that off and on. Like so, like if you feel tempted to fill this in right here, that shouldn't be filled in because that's actual white space in there. That's supposed to be negative space. So. Let me fill this in. Let me just toggle that. Okay, so if you notice right here, this area should be filled in as well if you toggle off the visibility. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Let me turn the green layer back on. I think I pretty much have a good reference at this point. I'm just going to color in the green areas. Do the same thing over here. And it can be really, it can be a little tricky to differentiate between what is part of the white background and what is actually just like a highlight on the hair from like the lighting from the wherever the picture was taken. Like if you notice here, this white area, that's it looks like it's supposed to be the background or something, but it's really just highlights on the hair. So that's why I'd recommend toggling this off and on. Go ahead and fill that in. And if you notice here, I'm going to zoom in. Oops, I'm going to zoom in on the shoulder here. Part of this got cut off as well, so you can go ahead and just paint that in. Same thing over here, a little bit of this got cut off. And what you could do now is you could turn off the visibility of that layer and you could see we've cropped out our subject and all of the fine details around the hair, as you see. So that's how you can do that with GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.